feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. The look on his face right now clearly indicates that he's thinking about something. He disagrees with what he's either what he has already said or what he's about to say. Right. So there are, uh, as many of you guys know, generally specific and I, Todd, um, had a show together and we obviously had to discuss a number of things that would be involved with the show and not involved with the show. We exchange ideas and those kind of things. So post him quote unquote calling me out about um, how I did a hit piece on him. Um, I wanted to go back and kind of divulge the conversation that we had about a couple of different things, two things in specific. One was, the sheep out of, out of okay. the field okay. okay where's the moral outrage of that that's just natural law okay so natural law is god's law is it not maybe according to your definition no no i'm asking you is it not no god's law is god's law okay what, what is that god's law is it is it the same thing as natural law or is it not well, I would call it natural law if it was exactly the same thing as god's law i'm calling okay, it god's then, law what, what is why, it? Why are what you is trying God's to reframe law? it? Well, you're no, what is it? No, no, no. What, okay. Open up a Bible What's and find difference? out for yourself. What's the, no, what is the difference between the two? That's what I'm asking. Is what's the difference? Natural law has to do with animals. <laughs> what are we? Well, apparently, according to you, out of your own mouth, you're just an animal. Well, yeah, you are. I'm you're just an animal. You. No, you're. I'm not saying I'm an animal. You're why saying you're you? an animal. So what, what are you then? What are you then? I'm an image bearer of God. What are you? Okay, but, but are all everything on this planet? You just said okay and then dismissed Is it. Image it. of God? And Is I it not? Me, you asked me a question. I answered it. I asked you a question. What do you What do you consider yourself? Are you going to say an animal again? Oftentimes, if someone doesn't agree with Todd, and very possibly he feels like he's poked holes in their argument, then he feels like they're not arguing from a from a genuine from a place of genuineness um, and they're being subversive is the term that he uses all the time. So oftentimes when he and I have, would have discussions on and off air, he's very rigid with regards to the things that he believes in. And despite the fact that he, that I may have valid points that, that what he calls um, he has blind spots and I've convinced him other otherwise from what he has normally considered to be true uh then you know he will he will concede to some things and i think that more often than not specifically when it comes to race race issues uh and some other things i feel like more often than not he felt that his the effectiveness that he had of arguing with me if you will um it wasn't that effective because I didn't partake in the argument, so to speak, like this gentleman is. Todd has a way of making it seem that his idea, this gentleman, Wingnut Radio, his idea is so far fetched, um, you know, that it's unbelievable or not that you know has no credence whatsoever. But when he and I would have a conversation when we were doing the show, um, he couldn't necessarily do that. And if I disagreed with something, I developed to a point where I was able to have a conversation with him about it, despite the fact that I thought that he was being very rigid with regards to his perception of things. But in the very beginning, on some level, I didn't necessarily have the ability to do so because I felt that he was taking a lead and I was second seat, uh, second fiddle, so to speak. Um, which I accepted that. I feel like when he and I have discussions, even if I'm in disagreement with something he's saying, it doesn't get to the point that this particular conversation does. Come up and slap you in the face. All right. I'll turn the according other to you, I'll turn according the other to your idea. I'll according to your idea. Sheet. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
and, and turn the, the other cheek because that's you, according you to your gonna, idea you of natural to, law. That's the way it is. Are you going to continue to ask me questions and then run well, over I mean, no, me for with real. the same question and not let me answer? You, know, you got to let him answer the question when you Exodus, ask us. What's Exodus fourteen fourteen? Why don't you do a little bit of research, Wingnut? Why don't you look well, up like what said, Exodus fourteen I, fourteen I, says? What is Exodus well, fourteen? I don't care what it say? says. No, I'm asking you. That's, you asked me a question. That's my answer. No, I don't Exodus care what the Bible answer. says because I can read the Bible. The I want to know what says. you would do. I'm asking you the as answer. a person. Now, see, now I I think that I under if I was having this conversation with him, and he would say to me, "I don't care what the Bible says. I'm asking you what you would do." He's he's making the point that it's very easy that you could just say this is what the bible says and this is this is my answer i i, I can completely uh support a person's position that they intend to be uh biblical and they function biblically and they think biblically and they're and they're governed by biblical principles i can relish that notion i absolutely can but what this gentleman is trying to ask Todd, he's, he's asking him a question, what would you do? Not would you do something that has been written in the Bible and then you tell me to go to the Bible and find out what you would do. He says, I'm asking you what you would do, which is absolutely fair for you to do when you're having a conversation. And then for Todd to basically say, read it and, and figure it out, I don't know if subver subversive is the correct term in this sense, but it seems very um, weak. That's okay, because answer. if I wanted to ask the book, I'll read the damn thing. I'm asking you, if I came up to you, Cliff, if I came up to you, Cliff, smacked you, you in the face, work. you're going to continue to just turn the other cheek, right? Because you, according to your idea with a generally specific – that's just natural no. law, right? No, I'm not God. No, first no. Off. I'll punch you in the face if you slap okay, me okay. in the face. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. But but okay. then he but then he'd repent and pray for forgiveness. Okay, okay. Oh, that's absolutely. that's beyond the point. That's that's beside the point. Fair oh, enough. Why do, why do you want to dismiss that? Because well, I because probably, that's beside I probably the point. feed you your fucking teeth, skull drag you the fuck off, and okay, bury you in a shallow fucking there, grave. There you go. And then there I'll you go. For fucking forgiveness. There you go. There you or, go. That's, or, that's the, or, that's the, or maybe go. I'll turn the other cheek, or maybe I'll do Exodus fourteen fourteen. Why don't you fucking learn some things? No, no, no. no. I mean, no. Okay, but I don't do. see you living that. I, I can't listen to the video when you're talking. to well, well, that's why I, I was hesitating even coming up here because honestly, man, because I. I Dude, I don't I've have got, a problem. I don't have a problem listening to you talk, but you got to stop asking questions and then running over people and not actually letting them respond. Otherwise, four, go ahead. otherwise, you're just asking a rhetorical question that you're just supplying an answer to. There's nothing to go ahead. Cliff was the one who said you're not letting anyone talk. I know you're going to run over it because you're passionate right now, and I dig your passion. I've had long form conversations with you. No, I'm talking form. about. I'm talking about. See, this is why I was, I was asking Cliff also. I'm asking you also as an individual also. Like you said, you would punch back. Fair enough. I, I, would, right? I, would, I would probably. But to my shame, that would be me failing as a Christian. Okay. So All how right. is that that's, not that, an acceptable answer? Okay, well, that is an acceptable answer, but I'm not saying that that's, that's beside the point because that's just a belief. That's not what you would do in that moment. I don't know if that's what you would do in that moment. I'm asking you as a person what you would do in that moment. I don't care what your belief is and what this book says. I don't care. That's beside the point. Now, again, I'm just going to reiterate the fact that as a person who would engage another individual in a conversation, I understand that what he's saying is I'm not asking what your belief is. And, and, and often when we talk about hypotheticals, we are talking about what do you believe you would do, for example. But he's he's saying not what is it that your Bible says that you should do. I guess that's probably a better way to think about it. If what Todd is responding to is, well, the Bible says that you should do blah, 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 blah. And what he's saying is, no, I'm asking what you think that you would do. Now, Todd can answer the question and says, I would do this because of my beliefs. I think that's kind of what he's what he's saying. Um, but then Todd, 
Todd, and, but then he, and he's saying, I'm asking you the question. So I don't have to go read the book because I could read it anytime. We're happy. We happen to be having the conversation now. And interestingly enough, this is, this is where I believe that Todd kind of, uh, he thinks that when I'm not necessarily pushing back with him on an, on a particular issue that I'm just simply sitting there and not, uh, you know, I, that it's, it's boring television, <laughs> you know, boring content. And if I did that the whole entire time that I would agree, there are times when he has a, when I can tell that his, his perception of, of a particular uh, subject matter is very rigid. And there's nothing that I can say that will convince him otherwise, then I will just listen to him talk. Now, what what he had an issue, what he took issue with with the video that came that I came that I sent out, was that I was rolling my eyes and I was doing all these animated things again, something that's not very like me. And he took offense to it. But again, we discussed that, and then we had multiple shows thereafter, multiple shows. That's 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 I can't argue that. And I admit that because that's your well, belief. Well, hold on, hold on. If you're going to ask someone a legitimate question, yeah. then you should be interested in their answer and where they might get it from. Otherwise, oh, I mean, you're, well, you're, I'm, well, can I finish in the moment, thought, please, sir? Okay. But then don't ask a question. Go be in the go be in the moment, dude. You don't need to be in my <laughs> channel talking over me to be in the moment. You can go do your own broadcast. But if you want to ask me a question, I would love to answer it. I would love to show you the respect that I'm asking you to show me. OK. It, it, again, it becomes very insufferable. My answer is my answer. And if you genuinely want to know what my answer is. Sorry, subversive and insufferable are, are terms that he uses. Uh, and this is one thing that uh, that's that Todd is very big on is definitions. And I've, I asked him before. Have you which 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 definitions do you use? He I think he's a being a user. And I don't know if any of you know what being stands for, but I've heard as a joke, obviously, that it stands for because it's not Google. You genuinely want to understand. In order to be understood, one must must first seek to understand. You don't want to understand. You just said, I don't care about your book. If I wanted to read it, I'd go read it. That's my answer. If you cared about my answer, you'd put a little bit of effort into trying to understand why I would answer the way I would answer. But you don't care. You have your own ideology and you want to run roughshod over everyone else so who's the dictator here Who, who's the one who's the one infiltrating or, or i'm sorry who's the one uh what's the word influencing insinuating themselves oh, on another person not insinuating ideology. that's not the word that you want to use i'm not i'm Imposing, not telling you you maybe? have to read the bible i'm not telling you, you have to believe in the god that i believe in i'm not telling you that natural law is god's law and that i have to understand that they're both the same thing i'm not trying to convince you of anything i'm just telling you what i think Okay, what I'm saying is, when it comes down to it, you have this uh, misconception of the word anarchy and what an true anarchy is, all right? It's not chaos. Chaos and anarchy are opposite. The look on his face right now clearly indicates that he's thinking about something. He disagrees with what he's either, what he has already said or what he's about to say. It's OK, they're not the same because chaos is when there's force. It's like when you said, like, somebody comes into my yard, and just you fucking destroys my shit or, you know, tries to kill me. That's the use of force. That's an intent force against me. Now, in anarchy, I'm not a pacifist, man. I'm not going to let them right, do take shit. It, take it I'm, easy. I'm, not, take I'm it just easy. saying I'm not going to let them do microphone. something. It, or, it already elevated. Go ahead, man. We're good. Um, I'm, I'm going to look up some things. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm listening. I'll try and talk fast. It's not, I'm not a pacifist. I'm not just going to allow somebody to do that. No. All right. I'm going to defend myself and my property. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. And I will use whatever force necessary to do it. All right. And that's not, that's not, you know, because this idea that, that, you know, in anarchy, I, we, I, we just I can't do nothing, you know, well, that's just crap. 
You know what I mean? Okay, and there's so, a lot of people that right, actually right, live right. in anarchy every day. I don't care what that definition is because it's wrong. All right, because then that's also the first definition. Okay. That is not the true well, definition. Hold on. See, see the, look at man, you're uh, fucking zerking out. Well, no, I'm just Thank saying you. that. It's you're just, fucking insufferable. It's, it's disinformation, man. What does it because fucking it, say right the here? Only, the only people that in want anarchy, anarchy chaos, this what's people the difference? are the ones that want foolishness. You can put him on mute. Hey, like I said, I'll leave, dude, if you want me to leave. I don't care. It's, dude, it's not about leaving. It's about mm-hmm. fucking asking a question and listening. I, I'm not saying that this is the fucking definition. Look, I'm searching, man. I'm looking. What does this fucking say down below? Have I even fucking clicked on it? Have you fucking vetted it? Do you fucking know whether or not that's even fucking bulwarking your fucking argument? No, because your fucking cunt mouth won't shut the fuck up. Dude, I'm so fucking sick of you insufferable fucking indoor cats trying to fucking pretend you're running shit. You ain't running jack and shit. Jack fucking left town fucking eons ago. Fucking understand where the fuck you line up in the world. God, your your betters are trying to fucking understand you. Your betters are trying to be charitable to you. You fucking insufferable fucking idiots. It's, it's got to be anarchy. It's got to be of the devil. It has to be of the devil. You destroy peace wherever the fuck you go. You fucking anarchist piece of shit. Okay. So. The conversation that we had, that is Todd and I had. Via text. I initiated after maybe one day of hearing this um, this live and this interaction. Now, Todd claims, you know, I promoted your show and I supported you and all that stuff. I did the same thing with him. I watched a number of his shows, a number of his, you know, multiple hour long shows of whatever the hell he was talking about. I had the luxury, if you will, of doing so because I listen to a lot of content while I'm doing eBay. Now, mind you, I, I'm not as efficient if I don't have anything on, but I like to do so and I have the time to do it. So, you know, this was during a time when, when I, where I would do that. I'm going to read two different threads. First, I'll read this first one. And this is, I think, the day after I saw... Uh, what had occurred on the uh, wingnut radio um, interaction. So the blues are me and the whites are Todd's. <laughs> All right. So it says, good morning. As you know, I often listen in silence. I can't help but notice the difference when you are talking to yourself, like with Jericho Green, versus when you talk at someone who fundamentally disagrees with you wingnut radio i would hope that if and when you and i disagree with each other it wouldn't come close to going down like what i heard last night and maybe i missed something but it didn't seem like oh what would wwj d or what would jesus do or say moment quote eat shit and fucking die end quote i know that's not the look you're going for my man keep your head on a swivel but definitely don't give up your peace i assume you know that me saying anything should be taken in the best light i'm always pulling for you have a productive day that was me reaching out to him he wrote back uh i wish i could say how long it was in between, but it probably wasn't too long. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I wrote, Amen. I cannot abide willful ignorance. Wingnut suffers from willful ignorance. There was five hours of prior conversation with a man, Wingnut, unwilling to help himself, yet claiming to have all the solutions for the world. Cannot abide it, and when reasoning with a fool, he thinks himself wise, and then I become the fool in that folly. 
Bible instructed, I failed to apply. When Jesus called out synagogue of Satan, I would venture it sounded to those addressed a bit like, repent or die, maybe not eat shit or die, point taken. I replied, I hear you. Let your mute button be your whip. Like Jesus fashioned in the temple, you have a switch, though, that occasionally gets turned on and your speech goes to a different place. That's what I'm referring to. It diminishes your otherwise powerful consideration of most of the issues you address. When we met, you asked me to point out or to point something like that out if and when I saw it. You do with it as you please. It's your show. I offered it with love and in what I think is a proper space, respectfully. He wrote, Receive with understanding of delivery. I'm strengthened, not weakened by your words. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement. The top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. Some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.